Hello everyone, this is Manish Shahan from Dremski and this session is on use SQL to query data on our dynamic 365 CRM or CDS. Uh, so this is a good news for sure. We were missing SQL for a long time in online CRM. Whenever we try to create SSRS report for the customer and there are many limitations in fetch XML. So right now we can't use this particular feature which is in preview in uh, SSRS report. This is not announced by Microsoft either. Uh, they usually say uh, that this is for read only purposes. Uh, so at least uh, this, this is a good start. Another question would be that why we are making this video as this document explains it well uh, that we just need to enter some credentials and it should be super simple, right? But uh, that's not the case when you start using it because uh, I tried it and I found many errors and uh, then we came to a conclusion it requires some configuration onto the system where we want to use SQL connection, right? So let me go to the server. So uh, what I did, I, I mentioned my server name uh, with the port which was mentioned on the same document, entered authentication as Azure Active Directory then username and password and when I try to connect it uh, it uh, loads for some time and then it gives me this error saying that login failed TDS protocol endpoint is disabled it's not uh, for sure that you will be getting this error because uh, your system might be configured for this so what I did I simply went to this website uh, view entity data in power bi desktop so this explains or you can say gives us some setting and tool to be configured on our system and on our power app so going up uh, going with the prerequisites it says login with to the power apps select the particular environment you want to set up this particular uh, you want to connect then going on to setting then advanced setting and you would be redirected here the next step it says that you need to check the version we will go to about it gives us the version uh, 9.1.0 uh, and which is for sure greater than this and i believe this should be uh, fulfilling our second point the second uh, third would be that we need to download this tool uh, orgdb org setting tool so we will go here Download this on our server. Yeah, going to the URL, uh, there's the Dynamics 65 update 2.2, which uh, after extracting this particular tool, we are in the fourth point is that we would be going to this particular configuration and would be making some changes as required. So, sixth. The point says we need to run this command onto the server where we need to make the connection and it will enable TDS uh, endpoints. So we want to copy this and replace the org ID here like this and the org ID unique ID we will get it from the developer resource. Going back to our server, opening CMD, there we would be there we would be locating to the folder where our tool has been extracted. So we have reached to the folder where we have uh, made those changes and we'll copy this particular command and we'll press enter and it will ask us to enter the password for our uh, a user which we defined under the configuration. So I have copied the password twice. I mistakenly added a wrong password and it's not allowing me to uh, delete that password and re-enter. So I have to enter the wrong password and see what error it gives. So if we enter the wrong password, it gives us this error, error occurred while doing the performing this activity. We will again enter the same command and press enter it when this time we would be pasting the correct password. So guys, uh, after many failed attempt, uh, I was able to <laughs> able to resolve the issue. I was still getting some error like uh, metadata can contains a reference that cannot be resolved kind of thing. And uh, uh, the setting we were missing was the domain name. Uh, I was uh, using CRM DOM, which which came with the default setting, and I changed it now to dmsky.com. And uh, I believe it's updated. It says update successful. So what we can do now is uh, try again. Let's see if we get the same error. Clicking on connect and Ike is connecting. Uh, this uh, prompt has disappeared and I believe we are connected with our organization. Uh, 
it's showing us the database here and remember this database is uh, read only if we expand it it should show uh, it should show us as read only because we can't update directly anything onto the tables or uh, any column uh, we can just use it for some queries to for validation so let us execute some query to select the account in the system uh, in the in the organization select star from I think it's dbo.account and it's not showing me the leave it should be running successfully and yeah it's executing the query and good it's bringing up all the all the account which are in the system so this is all the prerequisites to set up uh, the connection between the local system of SQL Dynamics 365 CRM and remember there are some limitation also uh, what what queries we can execute and these are the supported operation right now uh, available in this preview so in the future we are expecting Microsoft to enable this for our SSRS report so we don't have to be dependent only on fetch XML so let's hope for the best thank you guys bye bye